we are getting extensive here. Friends, I don't get the gullet. It's been a, I just, of course I get the freaking gullet when I'm hand filing round chain, friends, okay? When I talk get the gullet, it's only to do with hand filing a power saw with a round file. That's it. 90% of the world is doing that, right? Hand file. So that's what the get the gullet is. You hear me saying don't get the gullet and it, that's for square ground chain, friends. Okay, there's been a little confusion. That's it. Get the gullet. Don't not get the gullet when you're round filing. You've got to get the gullet when you're round filing. I say don't get the gullet when I'm square ground chain. Okay, friends? There's been a little confusion. I want to clear that up right away. That it's get the gullet is real in round file. And it's for some people too in, in square ground, but not for me as you saw yesterday. Big time extensive. I'm, I'm having fun as a man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I am, I love being a man. I just do. Um, Rob, grave, Graveyard Rob, I call him Graveyard Rob, brought this ax over to me the other day it was, uh, it was his grandpa's. It was his grandpa's. Friends, I did an extensive freaking fixeroni on this tool for him. He brought it here. It was in bad array. I've got a video on it. I'm going to share it with you. Like, you know what I mean? The whole gamut. Dowel, the whole gig, friends. Now, friends, there seems to be confusion. And I guess if you followed me closer... Friends, square ground chain and round file chain are different things. 90% of the general public is going to want to grab a round file. You are. Professionals, fallers, listen, ground chain is not big in the tree service. It's not. If you're a tree service right now looking at me going, well, Buck and I run, well, then you're you're in a, in a, what's the, uh, a lower percentage of people that, that use that. So friends, there's a, a little bit of confusion right now because I say, get the gullet. Well, and I will remain to say, get the gullet because it is an extremely, extremely important. When I, when I'm talking, get the gullet, I'm talking strictly round hand filing, nothing to do with, with square grind. I'm not even, I'm not even, square grind is not in the conversation. When, when I say get the gullet, I'm talking round file right here. Uh, this gig right there. That, that's what I'm talking about. Round file, not, not square ground. If you go back in the channel, I square grind for fallen and I round for residential or firewood cutting or whatever. And that's what majority of people do. So that's where get the gullet. If you don't get the gullet, you're going to end up like this. Right here, I show this chain a little later. Let's just take a look at it right now, though, because I've got it right here, and you're going to be batting against the wood. Here it is. Let's quickly just look at why I say get the gullet. See that right there? That's not getting the gullet. That's having the top knocked right off your top plate, and, and there's just no gullet there. Look at it. It's a ski jump. We talk about the ski jump, right? Friends, this video is going to be an extensive video on file size, files, terminology, uh, square ground, round file to help kind of focus the issue because I am a man who likes to learn and investigate. I've been grinding chain for 20 some odd years, ground chain, not hand file. I did that for years too before, but you know the story if you've been here. So today we're going to look at file size. We're going to talk gullet in, gullet out, reasons. This may interest you. And if you're wanting to learn, this may really help you. All right. Here we go. Quarter inch file. See that right there? It says quarter inch organ. I'm an organ man, by the way. I do use still, but... So this is a big file. That that's one you won't you won't see that often. 
The next is a very, very common for 3 8 and 404 chain, which is your wonderful 730 seconds filed. I believe this is a Husky intense cut right there. Intense cut Husky, which I believe is made by Preferred. I'm not positive. It is your 730 seconds. There it is, right there. Okay, your next size down is 1364, which is right there. We've never been told to run 1364 on 3 8 chain here ever, ever. I've never heard that. We run 730 seconds. I guess the 1364 would come in handy when maybe you're halfway down the chain or something like that. Who knows? Whatever. Use what works for you and you're comfortable with and the chain you're after. Now we move to the next size down, which, so the next one, friends, let me get focused, is 3 16 that's your next size file down, common size file for 325, which is your 50 cc saws, 60 and 50 and, and down. You get those, uh, you know, 357, 355, that style saw. So that's a 316 file. I actually used the 316 file to file my topping saws, that one, which they tell you to use this one, which is the 530 seconds, which is the next file size down. Five. 30 seconds. It's pretty ragged. You'll see it there. Where is it? Sorry, friends. Right there. 530 seconds. It's kind of scratched up, but that's it there. Okay. Now the baby C, I was saying it was a quarter inch file. I was wrong. It's an eighth. Look at this. It's an eighth size right there. That's the one I use for the baby C. It's for the Pico chain, the teeny little Pico chain. Well, that is the baby C. That's the file we're going to be using in this video to create the baby C. Can you see what I see? Let's start at the biggest. Let's start at the left over here. Quarter inch, 730 seconds, 1364, 316, 530 seconds, and an eighth of an inch. Bullet. The baby C over here. You see that? Yes, indeed. This is what we're after. Right there. It's called the Baby C. Look at that. Yes, indeed. <gasps> so, there, at least you can actually see this one's pretty straight, right? So, Sometimes just a couple little, right? Just, you wanna keep that thing straight. There we go. That's it. Friends, the baby C. If you've been here a long time, you know what the baby C is. You can tell. But uh, I, I, don't, I don't recommend the baby C, friends. It takes too much. It's a lot of work unless you're really proficient at filing. It's a hand file show. And this is pulling, it's, it's pulling and it works. So the interesting thing, excuse me, the interesting thing about this, it, it's a cutter friends. It, it most definitely is a cutter. And the, re the, the reason I got this, yeah, look at that. That's, that's aggressive baby hook you can see so all it is is like it's like a half tooth half chip right there it is the baby c that is a quarter an eighth inch file that's an eight inch inch file friends not five sixteenths it's not five sixteenths. i meant five thirty seconds is what i meant so friends i've just jumped ahead just a little bit here but i just want to Interge I mean, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, look at what we get here from 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 this 
baby seen. Like, it, look at this. This is beautiful, okay? Th this is lovely stuff. And Fred's, this wood is solid, solid rock maple. Solid rock. Look at, look at this. Like, look, you know what I mean? It's, it's rock hard maple. But I'm hungry on the rakers too, friends, like I am. You can see, I'm, I'm, kinda, I'm kinda hungry. Okay, friends, this is fur. This is dry fur. If there's one thing I know about the 500i, friends, is that if it's not just cutting just right, like sharp, and if anybody out there has a 500 and if they know this to be true, freaking jump in the comments, will ya? If you're not sharp, you will four stroke instantly and it will not leave four stroke. You, they, they're they like that. I don't know, what's well, the fuel injected? They, they do that. They like being in the wood. They're not the greatest limbing and small wood cutting saw I have found. Um, they love a grind, 
they do. They love an aggressive chain. They love being in the wood. So for this saw to be, you know, just four stroking a little now and again, when you're starting the cuts, tells you a little bit about the baby C. Now, I go into some maple here. It's the next day, actually, as you can see, I'm wearing a different shite. So I put, put a lot into this. And then the next video, friends, I was going to try and get it into this video, but I do a thing on chains and I talk about, we got a change in the weather coming. Uh, some good stuff coming. Anyways, back to it. Oh, what is this? Semi-chisel, chisel, round, gullet in, gullet out. What does this all mean? 3 16 5 18 16 37 16 That was interesting. It's pulling like a banshee, friends. That's half a chain. I got no problem with that. It's skip tooth, friends. Skip tooth chain. So I, I'm just telling you that if I swap this chain out right now, again, let's let's take a gander at, at what, what we've got here, friends, just, just to give you an idea of what we got, okay? And it looks weird, but it actually doesn't look weird to me because it looks like square ground chain, but it's only round. It's called the Baby C and the rakers are at about 30 degrees. 35, you can see the rakers are low to pick up this cutting edge, right? Baby C. Show you this chip. See it? See how it's kind of smaller? Because it's a small chip. It's a small bite. See it? Interesting, eh? watching that was a blast extensive information friends get the gullet is again in closing is to do with hand filing if you think about the tooth right take a look at the tooth they send you stock square ground gullet in in stock Square ground. Gullet in. When you buy a brand new chain, the best way to do this is just look at the chain. It, it'll have a C. It'll have a, you know what I mean? It's got a point where it grabs wood. Bring that shape all the way back down. Like that. Stock. Used. Gullet. Gone. Completely gone. C. See the C? Right there. C. 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 Ground chain. Gullet in. Get the gullet in round file. Please tell me this makes sense. It gets a little smaller as it goes down, right? Chains go like this. But, but in closing, friends, the get the gullet is for round filing, for residential, for firewood. 
When I production fall or I'm in a setting, I'm on the grind, friends, which I don't get the gullet. You saw that yesterday's video. There it is, gullet in. I've never sharpened, or pardon me, I've never taken the gullet out of this chain, not once. Completely, look at it, there it is. The whole thing's in, the gullet is in the chain. Look at that, <laughs> look at that. So I, I just wanted to clarify that. A lot of people in the comment section are like, you said get the gullet and you're not getting, I'm all confused. No, there's no confusion at all. Production fallen, I grind chain, I leave the gullet in. You guys have seen that crazy chain. It's like this, it's back, and it's got the gullet in it. Hand file, you, you have to, unless now you're doing the baby C, which I don't recommend. I'm just gonna tell you straight, I don't recommend you. If, if you want to, please investigate it and try it out. You're gonna do what you're gonna do anyways, we all do. Uh, sometimes that even makes us wanna do it more when somebody tells us not to, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So anyway, friends, I love when you come here and comment and partake in all this stuff. I've been doing this a long time and I just, I, I, I like to investigate different things and I like to learn. So yeah, thanks again, friends, for joining me. Always good to have you here. Be kind, work hard, be honest, and I'll see you on the next video.